Hi everyone, welcome to the Tax Super Channel. Today in this video, we are going to look at a very important uh, feature of our Oracle Integration Cloud that is called Recover Unsaved Changes. So I will talk about what Recover Unsaved Changes mean in the Oracle Integration Cloud. Before we start, guys, I will request everyone to please subscribe my channel so that you can get regular updates of my Tax Super Channel. So guys, I also wanted to give few uh, information which will really help you in your career. I have few Udemy courses which will help you to learn OIC and to end step by step with a lot of real time examples. I have two courses related to the o Oracle integration. The first course uh, which you see in the which you see the left hand side, this is uh, this is a little old course and I have launched a new course which is helping you to learn Oracle integration and it is based on the new version of our OIC and here I have mentioned all the new features. You can opt both the courses because in both the courses, uh, all the examples are totally different. The explanation is totally different. So if you want to buy the course, you just simply use this weekly links just below the name of the courses. Similarly, I have two more courses. One is related to the API PCS, which will help you to learn API PCS. And the second is YC real time use case scenario, which will help you to execute your projects independently. Here I have executed almost nine to 10 use cases end to end, which is real time use cases. And here I am providing a solution design as well. Then one another course dedicated to the Visual Builder Cloud Service, which will help you to learn VBCS end to end, and then Process Cloud Service, which you can use to learn PCS end to end. So these courses are accessible on the Bitly link just mentioned, which is uh, which is uh, the link is mentioned just below the name of the course. If you wanted to get an offer, you can always visit my website https colon slash slash www.taxupper.com and you can go to the online courses page where you will see the latest offer. You can become a member of my YouTube channel and uh, if you wanted to view the benefits of membership, you can always see this uh, YouTube video. Here there are three benefits which I'm offering as part of the membership. One is phone call on demand, web session support and proof of concept. Okay, that's all about the uh, relevant information which I wanted to deliver. So let's get started. Recover unsaved changes. So guys, maybe you have seen when you develop any integration in the OIC, you so you have seen the save button which will allow you to save your changes view which you are doing during the development. And if you will not save it and if something goes wrong, then your unsaved changes will be lost. So Oracle has introduced a new feature which will allow you to recover your unsaved changes. Why unsaved changes? You have not saved your integration activities and due to some issue, browser crash, loss of network, OIC issues, OIC server issues, you could not save it and you will not be able to recover the changes which you have done. But Oracle has introduced a new feature which will allow you to recover all those changes which you have not saved in the integration cloud. I will let you know how you can recover it. I will take you to the OIC screen where I will show you everything. But there's a limitation as well that what all activities can be recovered and what's not. Recoverable. Any action that is configured completely, which means if you are trying to configure a stage file action, if you have completed that action, means you have completely configured this and you could not save it and your browser crashes, then you will get an option to recover them. Changes made in the mapping editor after the developer clicks on the validate. Let's suppose you are doing a mapping and on the, on the mapper, you will see a button called validate. Let's suppose you need to do 100 mappings and out of 100, you have done 15, 50 mappings and after that you have clicked on the validate. After clicking on a validate button, you did another 20 mapping, but you have not clicked on the validate and suddenly your browser crashes. So you will be allowed only to recover only 50 mappings, which you did after clicking on the validate button. Means before 
you click the validate button but whatever mapping you have done after clicking on the validate button you will not be able to recover them what are the non recoverable layout changes such as repositioning if you are doing repositioning of your actions you and suddenly something goes wrong then you will not be recover them any action that is incomplete let's suppose you are making a file adapter and you are in the middle to complete the action to complete that wizard but due to some issues your wizard could not be completed so you will not be able to recover them any changes in the basic routing integration if you are using the basic routing pattern to develop an integration and if something goes wrong and you could not save it then you will not be able to recover them you will not be able to recover any connection losses so these are the things which you can recover and these are the things which you cannot who can recover so let's suppose there are two users user 1 and user 2 user 1 has developed the integration and user 2 is trying to update that integration later and something goes wrong while user 2 is doing some work and then only user 2 will be able to recover these changes but user 1 will not be able to recover those changes only the guy who was editing the integration and suddenly something goes wrong then the, the owner of the integration that time will be able to recover it okay so let's get started switch to the oic screen and we'll show you how you can recover them so here i am on the oic screen and let's take an example of any integration okay so let's take it this let, let's take this integration use lookup only okay just open this use lookup integration and let's try to make some changes here okay let's try to make a file adapter here the a b c and then use this read operation target this one and then no next and then done now here this action is completed let's suppose something goes wrong due to which your browser crashes so let me just i have not saved it so let me just close it let's suppose your browser crashes so this window will be closed i am not doing that but yes your window will be closed so now let's log in again and you will see what will happen click on this action menu and integration and then integrations whenever if there is something pending unsaved ch changes pending so you will see this unsaved changes info here which means there is something which you could not save it and something went wrong earlier but if another user will log in into this oic dashboard and will look at this integration this guy will not see this unsaved changes only the guy who were doing the uh, modification in this integration and log in there then only that guy will see this unsaved changes you will see the integration status is logged now if you click on this action menu you will see the resume edit and you will see the unlock or you will see the click on a edit button either you click on a edit button or you click on the resume edit so it will recover your changes just click on this resume edit and here you will see a icon information warning unsaved changes for integration use lookup have been recovered and are displayed in the canvas here you see that was the action that we did but we didn't save that and suddenly we close the browser okay now if you want to save it you have to click on the save button if you will try to close it then it will ask you to save the changes which means the changes could not be saved so you can click on simply save it okay so let's take another example let's try to configure this again okay i am here okay now let's suppose i am here only and suddenly something goes wrong let me just close this browser okay let me just open this integration again and let's see what will happen open this integration integrations 
here you don't see the unsaved changes because you were in the middle of the action and you didn't complete that if you click on action you even will not see the the resume added so here you click on a unlock simply and then unlock unlock click on add it here you see the changes which you did earlier has been lost now let's try to make some mapping here okay let me just try to make some mapping here okay create target node for example a b c okay and if you click on a validate button after doing the mapping just click on this set and then click on this sorry okay now click on a validate okay and now close this browser and let's try to log in again and let's see what will happen here you see the unsaved changes click on this edit it will take you directly to the screen and you will see unsaved changes for integration has been recovered and are displayed in the canvas if you open this here you will see the mapping which you did here we go now you simply what you need to do in order to save them you just click on a save and your changes are done let's take another example let me just delete not this one okay let me just do one thing let me just map it and now i am not clicking on the validate button and let me just close this window okay and let's see what will happen integration here you don't see the unsaved one you simply click on a edit here it will ask you to unlock okay integration cannot be edited at this time because it is locked click here and then first unlock it here you will see integration is locked unlocking the integration might cause data loss unlock then and whatever changes you have done you will not see it let's take one more example here let me just do the mapping here okay and then I click on a validate and then close this window okay let me just unsaved changes click here and then click on a unlock if you click on a unlock it will give you two option unlock and discard and edit and recover unlock and discard will discard your changes and will unlock that integration if you click on a edit and recover your changes will be recovered and you will you need to save them simply save it okay now if another user logs in into your integration cloud then the unsaved changes will not be there even the resume added button this guy will not see this guy will only see the unlock button and this guy will if unlocks the integration all the changes will be lost so this is how you can recover your changes in our integration cloud so guys that's all for this our uh, video if you have any issue any doubt please keep posting your question you can see me over linkedin you can see me over twitter facebook and you can see my uh, blog https colon slash www.taxapper.com thank you for watching the video thanks bye bye